Woo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are here at the barn today because my farrier is on his way. We're gonna get the boys some new shoes. They are due. Looks awfully doom and gloom outside and that is because over the last 24 hours we have actually gotten some rain. I know that that is pretty surprising but we actually have had some rain here in the last 24 hours and we're supposed to get a bunch more. Super stoked for that. We needed it and we need a lot more. While Bruce is on his way, I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab Blue, put him here in the cross ties, and that way when Bruce gets here, he can just load up and kind of get to work. It is amazing what a little bit of moisture will do. Like I said, less than 24 hours ago, we got quite a bit of rain and we're getting quite a bit more, but I mean, look how much better everything looks. You can see the, the hilltops over there, both have a bunch of clouds. Everything looks so much better, so much more green and vibrant and fresh. A little bit too muddy to work horses in for the next few days, but that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll take the rain. What are we doing this morning, Bo? Hmm? Here's a whack and a whack. Not too long. I'm getting there though. Right now the boys are on like a six week uh, shoeing rotation and uh, we're right kind of at that six week. So he's a little bit long, but not too long. Not certainly not overgrown by any means. Um, he's just kind of right in that perfect window. It's good to have horses on a, a really good schedule. Um, and then every horse is a little bit different, right? Like blue and smoke can kind of go every six weeks. Ryder actually uh, grows a little bit quicker. So he's on like a five week uh, trimming cycle just because his, his hooves grow really, really quick. He's actually one of the quicker horses I've ever seen grow a hoof. So he's on about five weeks. These boys are on six weeks. Thank goodness we have a covered barn for, for Bruce to shoe in because uh, it's coming down quite a bit out there. If you have been here for a while, you remember that the last place that the horses were at, um, we didn't actually have a covered anything. So a day like today, cancel a shoeing. But fortunately, we've got a beautiful little barn, a great cross tie setup, and rubber mats for Bruce to shoe in. So that is a good deal all the way around. And uh, Never complain about rain, always welcome it, but uh, sometimes we just gotta work around it. Smoke, you staying nice and dry over there? Oh yeah, underneath that cover. Smart pony. Bruce is finishing up on blue and then he's gonna work on smoke. I've actually got to head back to the house. I've got a package coming that has some of the most elite footwear on the planet in it. And my wife absolutely hates it. So I'm gonna surprise her with it. She's gonna absolutely hate it. I'm gonna be so excited and stoked about it. Y'all stay tuned. The Amazon man just showed up and she is already suspicious. I'm gonna to try to see if she'll open it. You're not even serious right now. What are you talking about? I just ate Oreos. I probably have it all in my teeth. Honey, I bought the most elite barn footwear you could buy. 
My god. I was like, wait a second, this is not what I ordered. So my wife absolutely hates Crocs. Oh. Hates them, like with a passion. And They're so ugly. I, I have wanted a new pair of Crocs for a long time. And so I put on... Why'd you get white? What do you mean? Why not white? You couldn't have gotten any other color but white? Well, the last pair that I had, well, I had a black pair and then I had a tan pair. So I didn't want to go camo. Tan would have at least been better. Oh my God. Gotta put them on, see how they fit. My barn shoes versus your barn shoes. What kind of those? I don't know. They were recommended by Instagram for horse shows. So the funny part is, is we both bought barn shoes. barn shoes and they both came the same day without either of us knowing it. I thought that was something for me, but... No, these are mine, look. Put them into sport Ooh, mode. These are nice. Put them into relax mode. I've missed my Crocs, it's been too long. We got them back. We're back in business. And since it's been raining so much lately, these are the perfect shoes for wet weather, for barn conditions. Although I wouldn't be walking around your horses with Crocs on. It's a good way to get your foot stomped and be in a hurry, but she's not pleased. No. I am though, and that's what matters. We came over to the in-laws house this evening because I forgot my rod over here and I wanted to, um, wanted to put new line in it. But then I also remembered that I had not shown you guys the catfish pond in quite some time. So I wanted to kind of come down here and it's honestly been probably a month or so since I've checked it. So I just wanted to kind of see how it was doing. You can see it from the house and we can obviously see that it's down quite a bit, but I hadn't really checked on the catfish, hadn't fed them or anything. And then I wanted to check and see how low the river is. Quite a bit of a drought here the last few months and this rain that's happened in the past 24, 48 hours has really been the only sort of moisture we've had for quite a while. I suspect that the river and the pond are substantially down and uh, we could use a lot more rain, that is for sure. And we gotta break in the new Croc footwear. The most comfortable, I don't know about luxurious, but the most comfortable footwear on the market. Yeah, whew. This is tough. This is tough to look at, that is for sure. So, that's kind of what we're dealing with right here. Usually the water is all the way up to that like brown line. I don't know if you can see it or not, but, oh my gosh, I don't know how far that is. And I don't know how deep, you know, but it's, it's down the furthest I've ever seen it. We've got a few little decoys out there in the in the middle and that's just where the aerators are just to kind of show where those aerator systems are and then uh, usually I don't know if you can see all the way down kind of where those horses are but if it starts going down that way and it's kind of got like a little ravine that goes all the way back up towards that fence line and usually that is all full of water we usually have this uh, feeder throwing food to them but since it's all the way up here, we don't really have a way to do that. I guess what I could do is probably open this. Come on. Oh. Open that a little bit. Grab some, grab some food. Let's see if I can. Let's just toss a little bit of food out there and kind of see what we get. Oh yeah, just some little feeder fish. There's a big one. Whoo! Oh yeah, we got them. We got them stirring up now. Quite a few of them. Look at them all. I wish you guys had polarized glasses on. You could see them all. There's probably 
eight, 10, 12 of them or so. And they are some monsters. One day we need to come out here and catch them and clean them and cook them, have us some nice catfish fillets. Cause there are some giants and they, look at them all. Right there, right there, right there, look at that one. Two, three, four, five, six. There are some absolute tanks in this pond. Whoo! We need, oh, a freaking monster just hit that. We need some more rain because I would love to come out here and pick up a few and go clean them and cook them and eat them. Okay, now that we cleaned the catfish, let's go take a look at the river and see if it has come up any since the other day when we got the rain. Um, I hope so, because last time I looked down here, it's pretty poor looking. I was a little hesitant at what I would find down here, but I will say that it looks a lot higher than the last time that I came through. So the rain over the past few days has definitely helped, but we need like probably three or four more feet. That is for sure. Oh, it's a little better. So the last time that I was over here, uh, all of that section kind of out in the middle was all open. Like you could all, you could walk through there. Um, normally, make sure there's no snake or anything. Normally, the water's up to about right here. And as you can see, all of that is uh all of that is out in the open and dry so one of the big factors that i look at is see all those rocks that are exposed over there um, that's usually where i will i'll swim out and then kind of float down and then kind of hang out at those rocks a little bit it's a nice little shallow area but with the rain being down i mean it's probably four feet low so we could probably use another four feet of water uh, for it to be kind of nice and nice and prime for swimming but it is better than it was which is uh, super encouraging I will say that that is a little bit better than I expected the catfish pond was about as bad as I expected but the river is up a little bit so I'm happy with that one thing that I would like to do on this channel is to showcase my love for the outdoors and hunting and fishing a little bit more I know that most of you are here for the horse content the team roping content but if you want to see a little bit more hunting a little bit more fishing a little bit more outdoors stuff go ahead and click the subscribe button like this video share it with a friend thank you guys so much for watching we will see you next time